let's forget the golf. Let's talk about the beaver. Yeah, you want to talk about the beavers? <laughs> I want to talk about the beaver. Yeah, sure, man. What happened? Yeah, well, now we, we've got these very uh, aggravating uh, beavers building their building their cities, and uh, so we're, we're really mad at them. <laughs> so how'd you get, how'd you take care of it? Well, what, we've, what club? we've <laughs> about a MB750, that's what we did. <laughs> For those that know, we'll know. <laughs> Do we have any golf questions on that? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, highlight of your round today? Uh, I think the last uh, five or six holes, I made the double on 14, I guess, uh, 13 or 14, whatever hole that is. Uh, and and played really really golf really good golf coming in, just nice like I knew I was playing pretty good, and made one kind of loose swing and it just can kind of happen around here sometimes and made a six but uh, just settled down and, and hit some really good shots coming in so that'd be the highlight for sure. How'd you spend the off season? A lot of a lot of farming man. Um, beavers killing beavers. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just spent a lot of time down at the farm and and just just unwinding from the year. You know it was a crazy year. So I needed some needed some downtime for sure. Did you do anything fun with the Claire Jug yet? Any fun? Uh, we had a trip to Augusta National with it, which was really cool. And then uh, I went out on the field during the uh, Georgia Ole Miss game. So that was that was probably the highlight of uh, the partying with it so far. We've we've partied with it. It's 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 quite the it's quite the party trick. It's it's been a lot of fun to possess for a year. What was the trip to Augusta? We went. We just uh, Kisner and I had it planned. Uh, uh, it was a Georgia Florida weekend, so uh, a couple Georgia guys, some dear friends, we went up there, watched the game, played golf, and um, had some had some good food. Just broing out up there. You brought it with you. I did. Anyone come out and said you have one of these yet? <laughs> it was it was cool, man. I mean, obviously, to have like uh, you know the it's an antique, it's a relic, it's you know it's like if golfing past, and then to have that at Augusta National, which is you know kind of like the next. You know, incredible you know, golf landmark. It's just pretty, pretty neat. What do you enjoy about this golf course? I, I, don't, I don't. There's nothing specific that I enjoy about it. It's just, it's a cool golf course. We don't really play anywhere like this. Yeah, there's so much elevation change, and um, I like that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of shots that if you execute it correctly, you know it's like going towards the hole, and it just feels like if you come out and you execute shots, like you get rewarded for for well hit. Executed golf shots. You, you feel like things could change with having a little bit earlier tee time today and maybe going a little bit later tomorrow? Yeah, it's certainly a different dynamic around here with a larger field, threesomes. You know, we're only in twosomes and we don't tee off until 10 or so in the afternoon so or 10 in the morning. So, I mean, that's the earliest I teed off by like three hours in the golf tournament. So, golf course played a little different to start with. But as the back nine and stuff, it, it was a pretty familiar feeling. Do you have a, an opinion on, on whether top 50 should be here? Of you know, I, I, right. Winning, right? I, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's a nice, it, it's a, it's a nice opportunity, like because you can you can have a really good year and not win, and I, I think it helps the competitiveness of the field. Um, Gosh, we had the best the best practice rounds all year here in a cart. You can play 18 holes in two hours, it seems like. I mean, if you had a really nice year, that probably puts you at Eastlake, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know why they did it? I think that they – I think I think they want to reward guys for finishing in the top 50. I mean, it's like the simplest answer. I mean, I, I think it's good. I mean, it certainly lends itself to a more competitive field. Um but I'm not definitive one way or the other. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks.